Building instructions for this and other alternate builds are available at underthebricks.com. Hi, welcome to another episode of Will It Modular. Today, we're gonna take a look at the Lego 3-in-1 Medieval Castle. Let's start with the first floor of this modular. The theme I went with for this modular was a medieval times style restaurant. Those are popular in America here and they're a restaurant where you watch knights battle while you eat dinner. And so that seemed to fit pretty well uh, to fit the castle theme into a town. So you see here on the first floor the sidewalk uh, looks like a, a drawbridge coming down. Uh, we've got the nice wooden doors that open inward and a lamp post, uh, as well as the shields and this nice sword crest right here. Uh, this is a server uh, bringing a drink uh, outside and perhaps enticing some customers on the sidewalk to come inside and dine. On the back, we have some fun nods to the castle theme in Lego, which was one of my favorite themes when I was a child. Uh, that uh, target with the bow and arrow was one of my favorite pieces as a kid. I think it looked a little different back then, um, but that was a fun thing that they included in the castle and I wanted to keep that here in the modular. There's a little bin here that might be for trash uh, or deliveries at the back of the restaurant and a door here on the back as well. Um, and up on top, uh, you can see there's a little outside seating area. Again, we've got some, some brick built trees. Uh, kind of a nod to the Forestman uh, castle line um, and then a little uh, table and chairs here on the first floor. Now let's take a look at the second floor. The second floor of the modular uh, continues some more of that medieval theming uh, with a dragon's head that's breathing fire and some additional shield pieces here. Um, you can see uh, up close that this uh, floor doesn't quite sit flat. Um, these uh, little stone pieces at the bottom actually overlap the first floor a bit and you'll see that when it all comes together. On the back of the second floor, we've got another nice nod to the castle sets of my childhood. There was always a jail um, and I don't think there were skeletons back then, but that's a fun thing to include inside of a castle jail. Now let's take a look at the third floor. The third floor of the castle restaurant features a balcony, uh, with a knight standing guard out front and looking over all those who are coming in to have dinner. Um, there's an apple tree here as well as a flag and a, a bucket. Um, so it was nice to be able to include some of those details there. Um, if you spin it around the back you can see there's a little opening uh, that reveals the, the candle that's sitting in the middle. This is perhaps one of the best tables in the restaurant up here on the top floor. Finally let's look at the roof. This is the roof of the castle restaurant and it is another balcony. Uh, there were just so many pieces in this set and there were actually many more pieces uh, that I wasn't able to include as part of this modular. So you have lots of extra pieces if you want to build on your own additions to this modular building. Uh, but this, uh, this balcony up here at the top has some nice flags um, and incorporates that same kind of blue roof theme that the original set had in addition to some of the uh, brown and yellow uh, alternating patterns for some of the balconies and walls from the original set. So let's put this thing all together and see what it looks like. This is the finished modular building. As you can see it is quite tall. Um, it, uh, I'm not sure exactly how many bricks tall it is, um, but it does fit alongside the other modular buildings if you kind of cut them off about right here. This, this extra balcony kind of sticks out above everything else. But this is the completed restaurant made from the Creator 3-in-1 castle set. Let me show you a comparison of how this looks between two of the official LEGO modular buildings. 
So here's that comparison of the castle restaurant in between the Lego bookshop official modular building so you can get a feel for what it would look like uh, if you already have some modular buildings of your own. The instructions for this set are available at uh, underthebricks.com so please go uh, check those out if you have this set and you want to build this modular building please consider purchasing those instructions that's really what allows me to keep making more videos and doing more modulars like this that's it for this episode of will it modular if you liked it please click like consider subscribing to the channel um, remember build each other up don't tear each other down now turn this off and go build something amazing <laughs>